All right, so we're back on Periscope now. Thank y'all for supporting. Yes, give it unto him. Give it unto him. Right, let's get back into this. I'm Prophetess Kimberly Hargraves, and we're finishing this book up. And uh, listen, all right, so the word of God tells us not to be frightened. Do not be dismayed, you know, because our Lord, our God, he's with us. Wherever we go, some people, hallelujah, listen, some people feel lonely. You know, the holiday season, you're discouraged. You feel lonely. Let me tell you something. God will never leave you or forsake you. Hallelujah, you're not alone. Let me tell you something. Woo! Like three years ago, I went through a bad divorce. And in and, and my first holiday season, my first Thanksgiving alone, my first Christmas alone, I fell apart, you know, because I was like, man, I feel so lonely. God, I don't understand, but I got used to uh, being, uh, taking, you know, communi co commu communing with the Holy Spirit. And he showed me, hey, he, he is your, my comforter. He is your comforter, people of God. Holy Spirit is your comforter. During those dark times, those lonely times. Amen. Listen to me, people of God. Hallelujah. So my second holiday season i went to work i was like well i want to make some money wow you know i went to work and made some a uh, uh, fat paycheck do you hear what i'm saying too hallelujah so i wouldn't be alone but listen this year i'm not even depressed i'm not even depressed and I, I give god praise for that so the same way god restored me and healed my emotions god can do it for you amen god can do that thing for you you don't have to you know be sad all day and dis discouraged no get up and say just give god praise say god i give you praise god for being with me during this season lord god you know i, I refuse to let the enemy rob me of my joy i refuse to let the enemy rob me of my peace come on people of god hallelujah this like i said before in the last periscope you know there's a lot to be thankful for there's a lot to be thankful for amen Listen, some people don't even got their own house. Some people don't even got a turkey to cook. Some people don't even got sides and stuff in it, macaroni, cheese, collard greens, cranberry, you know, sauce, whatever y'all eat, yams, chitlins. Come on up. Some people don't even got that stuff. But you, some people do got everything. Don't be sad. Amen. Come on, people of God. Jesus. Y'all going to make me cut up tonight. Hallelujah. That's right. Come on now. So I, I decree and declare, you know, if God is for us, who could be against us? Listen. Hallelujah. Some people right now, you feel ashamed of what has happened to you. Don't, don't feel ashamed. Let me tell you something. I want you to decree and declare in your life instead of shame. You're getting ready to get uh, a double portion of honor. Amen. You're getting ready to get double portion of honor. Amen. Just receive it. Hallelujah. You know, I decree and declare you're going to get your name back. God is going to restore some of you, your reputation back. See, the enemy tried to discourage you and drag your, your name through the mud. Nah, baby, it's not going to work. It is not going to work. Hallelujah. You're going to rise. Woo! You're going to rise. You're going to come up to the forefront, baby. Woo! I'm telling you. You know, people talked about you. Yeah, she homeless. Yeah, she was divorced. But let me tell you something. Jesus, she was the Sumerian woman. She had she had five husbands. Let me tell you something. Jesus, and she was an evangelist. She, she, she went around. Come see a man. Come see about a man. Come on, somebody. So if God used somebody like that in society, but people talked about her, and it's like, mm, God would never use nobody like that why can't god use you why can't god use you that's right your enemies will be your footstool amen let me tell you something my god god is gonna use the people uh, i don't even know i'm going here god is gonna use the people you know that people have abandoned people have rejected that people have walked out on that people have trampled underneath foot that people have gave up on you know those people that just like man overlooked those are the main people that god is going to use for his glory those are the main people my god do you hear what i'm saying to you so right now something traumatic and horrible probably has happened in your life i want to encourage you that there is hope still for you there is hope still for y'all know who i'm talking to today but there's still hope for you there's still hope for you jesus Woo! There's still hope for you. That's right. Come on now. You know, I never thought God would use somebody like me. You know, a single mom all the way in the wilderness in Colorado. But, woo, I give God praise. You know, that he put a healing anointing on my life. That he put a deliverance anointing on my life. I give God praise for that. Do you hear what I'm saying to you? Jesus. So if God can use me, a single parent, why can't God use you guys? Come on now. Jesus. That's right. Hope. That's right, Jesus. So I, I, I decree and declare, come on now. We're going to be watchful. We're not going to take the bait of the enemy. 
We're not going to take the bait of the enemy. Let me tell you something. See, the enemy is trying to attack some of you and your emotions, trying to do everything to get you discombobulated, to make you confused, to make you start doubting God. Come on, I rebuke that in Jesus' name. I rebuke that in Jesus' name. Do you hear what I'm saying to you? We're not going to get discouraged. We're not going to give up. We're not going to lose hope. We're going to keep going, pressing. We're going to keep pressing towards the high mark in God and Jesus Christ, somebody. Do you hear what I'm saying? We're going to keep on fighting this good fight of faith till we make it to the end of the deadline, baby. Come on now. See, I don't know who I'm talking to. We're, we're going to get the crown of life. We're not going to turn back. You know, some of us are in this thing too far, too deep to give up. Are you really going to give up and let the enemy win? Are you kidding me? Come on now. Are you really going to give up and let the enemy win? No, we're going to keep on pressing. Come on, somebody. Say, I will not give up. I will not be shaken. I will not give up. I don't know who I'm talking to tonight, but we will not give up. We're going to continue to go forward. We're going to continue to keep pressing. Hallelujah. God, like I keep saying, I cannot shake this thing out of my spirit. God has an amazing plan. Every bad thing that has happened to you, just get ready for your season to shift into something, you know, better. To something, a uh, uh, a season that was discouraging to a season of encouragement. A season of lack to a season of prosperity. A season of, of a weeping to a season of joy. A season of being overlooked to a season of coming to the front, baby. Woo! A season, hallelujah, with a small anointing to a season with getting a, a, a grander, a greater, a fresh anointing, my God. A season of no opportunities and closed doors to a season of uh, many opportunities and open doors. In Jesus' name. Come on, people. Hallelujah. This this thing is getting ready to shift for you. This thing is getting ready to turn around for you. This I'm telling you. Do y'all believe this today? Do y'all believe this? Who, who's feeling better? Who feels encouraged today? My God. You know, a lot of people right now feel faith. I 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 feel faith. Some of you believe in God for things. Again, my God, some people just like, man, I don't even got faith. You know, you start to believe God again. You start to believe God for, you know, impossible. Okay, God, you said I'm getting ready to travel. Okay, God, you said I'm getting ready to get married. God, you said you got my house for me, God. You said you got that promotion for me, God. I'm going to believe you again. I'm going to pray again because I know that maybe this time, God, I, I can be, you know, this, this prayer session is going to birth my miracle. You know, this praise session is going to birth my miracle. This fast, God, is going to birth my miracle. My God, this worship session session God is going to birth my miracle my God hallelujah so come on now we're going to be sober we're going to be watchful because our adversary the, the devil prowls around like a roaring lion seeking someone who he's going to devour but it's not going to work it's not going to prosper in Jesus name you know so in the name of Jesus come on we're almost done people God I bind up any demonic forces that are coming against us today God send your fire God to destroy any demonic attachments in the name of Jesus at the rope you got to chop that thing up at the rope in Jesus name Hallelujah. Lord, send your anointing that destroys all demonic yokes in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Lord, we're going to stay in faith. Come on, somebody. We're going to stay in faith, God. Tell them we're going to stay in faith because without faith, it's impossible. It is absolutely impossible to please you, God. Hallelujah. So, God, I decree and declare we're overcomers. We are overcomers. Amen. We are overcomers. And, you know, the word of God, come on now. The word of God says we may be afflicted in every way. But we're not crushed. Do you hear what I'm saying to you? You may be afflicted in every way, but you are not crushed. I don't know who I'm talking to. You know, see, the enemy wants to crush you. He wants to sift you like wheat. Like I said before, you may be afflicted. I don't know if you're catching what I'm saying to you. In every way, but you are not crushed. You may be perplexed. Like, God, I just don't understand it, God. I feel like I'm going to lose my mind, God. But let me tell you something. You're not going to be driven to despair. Or God is not going to let you lose your mind. God is not going to let you lose your mind. Because let me tell you something, people of God. You are so different than the people in the world. Because guess what? The people in the world will commit suicide. The people in the world will take some pills to the head and check up out of here. The people in the world will be in a, a, a mental institution. Do you hear what I'm saying to you? But my God, God has kept your mind. Somebody give God praise for keeping your mind. Somebody give God praise for keeping your mind. Jesus. So let me tell you something. You may be persecuted, but you are not forsaken. Let me tell you something. God sees those haters. God sees those people gossiping about you. God sees the naysayers, the people that's talking about you. But let me tell you what God is going to do. Wow! Can I prophesy and tell you that God is going to make your haters into liars? Those people that say, oh, 
nothing's going to happen for them. Uh, whatever. Those are the main people that God's going to turn to liars. Because God said, I'm going to get the glory. And let me prophesy to tell you, the more they talk about you, the more God's going to elevate you. Is that exciting? I'm excited for y'all. Wow, I'm excited for y'all. Jesus. You know, you may be struck down, but you're not destroyed. Let me tell you something. The, you know, no weapon for and against us will prosper. And every tongue that rises up against us, God's going to condemn that thing. Let me tell y'all something, people of God. Woo! Somebody give God praise. Hallelujah. You know, the enemy think he know he can destroy you, trying to dig a net in a pit fall for you but let me prophesy and tell you that that pit the enemy's digging is going to fall into that pit himself my god that that trouble he's causing in your life he's is that trouble's going to crown his own head do you hear what i'm saying to you people god i don't think y'all hear what i'm saying to you if you care what i just said i need you to just praise god and receive this word reset in jesus name lord god so i decree and declare woo, god for peace come on somebody put hands up right now receive it it's such a strong anointing here you know i'm on fire woo waha come on now receive peace Receive it in Jesus' name. I need I need everybody to confess with their mouth right now. Say, God, I will not let my emotions run me during this holiday season. I will not let my negative emotions run my life this holiday season in Jesus' name. I need you to confess it. Confess it up out of your mouth right now. In this anointing, I'm telling you, we need to speak things in God's presence. Amen. That anointing. Woo! Say, God, I will not. Let my negative, I will not let negative emotions run my life in Jesus' name. Come on now. You cannot, you know, fall apart. Come on. I, I know, how you doing, Prophet Long? I was just watching your periscope. It was powerful. Powerful, powerful, powerful. Listen, you know, like I said, you know, I'm reading out of this book. You know, I wrote this book two years ago. I went through a bad divorce, and I, I, I fell apart. You know, I fell apart. I was praying to God to die, and God spoke to me. You know, I was on the couch for three days depressed. I didn't want to live no more. And God spoke to me. He said, it's not your time to die yet. You you, you, you got work to do. You got work to do. And I snapped up out of that thing, and I was like, yeah, you're right. So I began to write some books, and ten books later, hallelujah, you know. So listen, you know, I had to learn. You know, this word dealt with me. The Lord let me feel over 400 emotions. I was going crazy, y'all. Hallelujah. And I got on the computer, and everything I was feeling, and this is a word for somebody, every Everything that you're feeling in your dark season, you need to write. You need to write it down. Hallelujah. Because that thing could be turned into a book that's going to bless many people's lives. It's going to impact the world. Do you hear what I'm saying to you? So, you know, I felt all these emotions. And I said, okay, God, you're right. I'm not going to let my emotions run my life, negative emotions. You know, I'm, I'm going to believe you, God. You know, I'm going to stay in faith no matter what. Because faith doesn't have feelings. See, your emotions, that's a feeling. You know, if you start to feel depressed, you're going to start lacking in faith and like, oh, God is not hearing me. You know, come on now. You start feeling, you know, uh, let me see what else. Disheartened. We're reading, you know, disheartening, despair, you know, gloomy, you know, devastated. You know, you're going to have a lack of faith. You know, Jesus, when you start feeling all kind of crazy things. Yeah, you take this book everywhere. God bless you for getting the book, Miss Mandy. Thank you. Thank you. So listen. Hallelujah. So, God, we thank you for, you know, peace that surpasses all understanding. We thank you, God, for inexpressible joy in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. So, you just, just give God praise. God, I thank you, Lord God, for answering this prayer today. God, I pray blessings and prosperity and peace and favor upon everybody that took the time to join me today god bless their lives god keep them in perfect peace during these holiday seasons lord god i thank you lord god that even though some people have suffered much loss lord god you can get all my books on my website go to my website kimberlyhargrace.com you know or go to amazon.com you can get the books i know sometimes you cry all the time I, i've been through a season i've just been crying you know i cry so much sometimes i was like man i ate tears for breakfast lunch and dinner you know i done cried so much i didn't think i even had any more tears left you know so listen you know we cannot fall apart all right like i said you know just think of it like this we need to be thankful every day you know i know tomorrow is thanksgiving you know but don't 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 waste your day don't waste the day being sad lonely depressed i need you to get up if you don't do anything else, if you have to watch the replay of this thing 10,000 times, watch the replay, you know, and, 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 and encourage yourself. Amen. Encourage yourself. Amen. Like, like uh, I can't say it enough. Encourage yourself. You know what I have to do, people of God? I have to preach to myself. You know.
know, like a, like a mad woman, like I'm preaching, you know, for a, a front of a church. I preached to myself. Nobody was in the room except me and God. Hallelujah. And let me tell you something. I refuse to, to feel lonely. I refuse to feel discouraged. Do you hear what I'm saying to you? Hallelujah. Because like I said before, God is with us. Amen. God is with us. You are not alone. You are not alone. Come on now, somebody. Look at me. Look at me. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a living witness of someone God has restored in her emotions. I used to be an emotional wreck. The first year after going through a divorce, I was on that couch for three days on Thanksgiving. Or I don't even know if it was on Thanksgiving. But I was on the couch for three days crying. Ah! You know, and for my first Thanksgiving alone, the second Thanksgiving alone, the second year, I, I went to work because I didn't want to be lonely. I, you know, I, I went, I didn't want to be lonely. This is my third year, hallelujah, and I feel good. Woo, I feel good. I, I'm not going to fall apart. I'm not going to break down. Woo, because guess what? I know God has greater for me. Amen. God has greater for you. Don't be falling apart. Don't be falling apart, people of God. Amen. So I pray this encourage you. I pray this bless you. If you're not following my Facebook page, Arthur Kimberly Hargraves, you know, follow that because I'm going to be doing more prayers throughout the week. I might get back on tomorrow on my Facebook. I don't know about Periscope because Periscope be cutting off in the middle. All right. And I'm going to be doing more book scopes. Um, if you like the book today, you can go on my website, you know, get the book, Overcoming Emotions with Prayers, A Guide to Faith. Uh, it's a thick book it has over 400 prayers in this book for every emotion. You know, like I said, the Lord, let me feel all these emotions. All right. And I have written like, um, I write, I write my 11th book right now. It's called walk by faith, a daily devotional pre-order that book. If you support this ministry, go to my website right now, pre-order the book. Um, I have two conferences coming up. I have a conference um next month at my church colorado springs if you're in the area yes my, my, my conference call is friday connect with me friday night you know it, um all the conference line number is on my website you know we're gonna it's gonna go down you know a lot of people want to know thus said the lord god was my purpose got any clarity direction that's the time to connect with me i'm going to help you seek god and we're going to get a word from heaven for you we're going to get a rainbow word for you guys okay so if you're sick i want you to call that call friday night you need deliverance i need you to call that call miracles happen you know god open up he opened up a deaf right ear on that call uh, somebody's lump dissolved in their breast on that call somebody has scoliosis god start aligning their spine on that call i have many many witnesses i'm not making this stuff up you know if you don't believe me like woman of god what, what is the recording i I'll send you the recording. Amen. God is real. God heals. Amen. That the miracles blow my mind. Amen. You know, people sold. One person sold a hundred dollars and she got a uh, hundred thousand. I think she said, no, she said 80,000 uh, debt elimination on her student loans. You know, just crazy miracles. I'm like, my God, you know, somebody sold $20 and, you know, God canceled $900 of, of student loans from her, you know, so I give God glory for that. You know, so miracles happen. You know, God is a God that works miracles. All right. But I have a conference next month, prophetic prayer watch. If you're in the area, come to Colorado Springs. All right. And, and register for that conference. It's going to go down. I'm going to be giving lots of books for all of my conferences. I give away books. I give away you know i have two cds i have a prayer cd you know prayers that bombard heaven you know um you know you can get the cd you know i have cds all right and another cd i, I just made let me see birth and prophets in the wilderness you can get these you know birth and prophets in the wilderness if you like my prophetic teachings subscribe to my mailing list on my website every week i give free prophetic teachings away I give free prophetic teachings away, you know, and I um, I do have School of the Prophets if you want me to help mentor you in, uh, in the prophetics and help you grow in your gifting and help push you and help launch you, you know, you can go to my School of the Prophets on my website, sign up, you know, um, the class starts December 1st, I want to invest in you, I really want to impart in you guys, alright, I got another woman's conference February the 25th, I need you to invest in that, you know, I'm, I'll, be, I'll be releasing another book, it's called Empowering the New Me, 50 Tips to Becoming a Godly Woman, I used to be a stripper, but now I'm a woman of God, I practice righteousness and holiness, amen, so the Holy Spirit gave me 50 things to help these women of God, to empower them, so come to the conference, I'm going to be giving you a t-shirt, a book, you're going to be getting impartation for prophetic ministry, healing and deliverance, all right, all of that great stuff. We're going to have a yummy lunch. All right, next Saturday, we're going to have lots of workshops there. We're going to have fun. And then I have my homegirl. She's going to come, and she's a makeup artist, and she does makeup. And we're going to be giving away, I think, a MAC makeup basket. You know how much MAC costs? 
You know how much Mac costs? Mac is a lot expensive. You know, I don't, I don't even have Mac right now, but I, I want some Mac lipstick, lip gloss. That that lip gloss lasts all day. Mac eyeshadow lasts like three days. Come on now, that's the that's the that's the bomb makeup. Oh, thank you so much, Prophet. Y'all follow my, my friend on here, Prophet Brian Norman. Yeah, so, all right, people of God. So, you know, support the ministry. Get the products. I love you guys. Um, go to my Facebook page. And one more thing I want to announce. Follow my Prophetess um, Kimberly Hargrave's Facebook page because I'm going to start doing prophetic ministry on there as well. And I'm going to be, uh, I'll probably come on maybe tomorrow to be a blessing on my Facebook page. And I'm going to be prophesying, thus said the Lord, to about five people. I'm going to bless like five people on there. So follow that page as well. All right, God bless. All, all of my events, go to my website. Just click my profile. All of them are in Colorado. I'm out here in the mountains. Woo, it's going to be fun. All right, God bless.